In my never-ending quest to master the art of painting, especially with airbrushing, I've been working on a multitude of chromes. Currently, my favorite is the Alkalad Chrome with a Alkalad Glossy Back Blacker. I will try Tamiya because everyone swears by Tamiya, so let me order some of that. Maybe I'll hit up a new type HQ and request a free bottle of Glossy Black Tamiya. But anyway, in the hunt for getting the perfect gloss coat, I decided to try something out of the ordinary. This here is MCM Metalizer, I believe. A hobby super metallic powder. This is imported from Taiwan. Very expensive. This little thing cost me like $30. So I'm spending the money so you don't have to just to test out, you know, dopey ideas. Now I have seen some results from other people who've used it and it appears to be magnificent. Maybe my limited knowledge of the metalizer powders is what's hindering me from achieving that sort of perfect chrome finish that I am constantly on the hunt for. I've so far perfected doing a very good chrome, but not a perfect flawless mirror chrome. Now it's suggested you use this on a glossy black. It could also be used over chromes too, supposedly. I haven't yielded the best results, but I'm gonna have to test it out more thoroughly later on. My methodology for everything is, let's see what happens. It's a very, very good methodology to use. In fact, in quantum physics, they use it all the time with particles and such. So I'm not far off. Simply the principle is the same here on the glossy black. You just take it and rub it in with an applicator. So far, it's not bad. Please forget the camera angles. My inability to see the area has just screwed me once again. This is very unprofessional. I deserve to be kicked in the nuts. So we're gonna fast forward and get a good look at this. Don't worry, I'll buy a new lens for my camera so I can get better zoom ins that pull in more detail because this is unacceptable. The autofocus also on this camera sucks ass for as much as it costs. And as you can see, it seems to be working. It is a convincing chrome finish. Not perfect though, in my personal opinion, or maybe I went too hard, but it does give a very nice reflective look. It does look metallic. But the thing is, it isn't the perfect mirror finish that I sought after. Still good nonetheless. But once again, if you can lay down a perfectly good black base coat that's glossy, then this doesn't seem really necessary because there's a multitude of chrome paints that would do far better off the trot. But I wanted to see just how far this would go, how good it was. Now I'm comparing it against Alkalad chrome paint versus the MCM metalizer. And to be honest, the metalizer isn't bad. Maybe the item I chose to put this chrome on wasn't the best since there's a lot of curvature, there's a lot of areas and recesses I couldn't get to with the applicator. But it was the only thing I had that was glossy black that was sitting around and properly cured at the time of this recording. So I figured, why not? Let's see what happened. What's a better test than something that actually isn't perfect? That gives you a more clear indication of what you're dealing with here it does seem reflective in many areas. I then decide to take the MCM powder and put it on an already applied chrome painted piece. And the results were actually odd. Instead of enhancing it and making it more reflective and mirror-like, the only thing I accomplished was making my piece look just like a piece of aluminum. Like it removed all the reflectivity of the part I previously painted. Therefore, either A, I did something wrong, B, I was too heavy handed, C, this should be applied over a gloss coat maybe? I'm not 100% sure. As stated earlier, there's gonna need to be far more testing. A little bit of a comparison, the chrome painted piece versus the chrome painted piece with the MCM powder on it. As you can see, it has more light, but it has no reflective qualities. This might even boil down to what you prefer more. One has a more matte finish while the other one has a sort of slightly wet look. So I will say the test was inconclusive. Then decided to go back to the piece that I was putting the metalizer on and do a little bit more coverage just to see exactly what would happen. Because frankly, I was in too deep at this point. The piece for all extensive purposes kind of ruined in the sense of if I wanted to paint it, I'd have to strip it down and that's not worth it. Going further in, I found that it didn't look bad after coming back to it. It looks kind of cool. It's decent. It's not exactly what I was looking for, but nice nonetheless. I could see the appeal of this piece. 
I can see the appeal of this powder in circumstances where like maybe you're too lazy to paint or maybe you know that this figure is not going to be touched again. So you could just sit it somewhere after you applied the powder and that would be that because it does have a good reflective quality. Overall, overall the MCM metal powder isn't bad, requires further testing on my part to get a good basis and understanding. This is just basically an overview of what we're looking at here. It is very expensive to just go buy, to be honest, it's like $30. And I am told that you can achieve the same results from nail powder for nail polish, you know, like a nail artist, uh, I don't know what you call those people, <laughs> but uh, they use a metal powder that's very similar to this and supposedly it's much cheaper and it comes in a multitude of colors, gold, uh, chrome blue. So I'll have to get my hands on some of that and see what happens at that point. But for now, this is what we're left with. You know what, it's actually decent to be honest, comparing it to the painted Alkalad piece, I like what I'm seeing here, actually. It's very nice. I take it back, this is nice. The only problem is, and I should let you know right now, don't know how to gloss this. If you put gloss on this, you will kind of effectively ruin it. And it will turn kind of matte. I tried Aqua Clear on one of these chrome powdered pieces and it just went to shit. Maybe next time I'll try like, a gloss coat from Alkalad. I'm not quite sure how to go about this. Please forgive the camera work. It is so hard to work with the kit camera that came with this. Don't worry, I'll upgrade later on. It'll only cost me an arm and a leg. So that's gonna do it for me. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification because believe it or not, all of this stuff actually helps me in today's YouTube climate. As we all know, I'm not exactly the most uh, family friendly type of guy. I guess being single and not having kids kind of makes that happen for you, am I right?